Hi guys, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak at Griff's Run and Gun for a Cure. Uh, a few weeks ago, a couple different angles had come at me. Uh, Tyke Steiner mentioned the idea of, of presenting something for the auction. Uh, and then my friend's mom said that she had talked to the Griffiths and they were interested in me speaking at the benefit. Unfortunately, because of, of family planning, um, I'm down here in Ocean City, Maryland, so I was not in town to be able to come speak at the event. Nonetheless, I wanted to do everything that I could to... Um, you know, to still take part and to still help the cause. I apologize if you hear little kids running, screaming, jumping, because they are, they are around, so. Whenever I spoke with Kathy about speaking at the benefit, at first I, I, I wanted to do it because the, the Griffiths are good people. I've come across them over the years with, uh, I actually taught Jaime in the Spanish class. So I definitely wanted to do something, and then she explained to me the situation with Greg and that it pertained to pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer, has had a, a pretty profound effect on my family over the years. Uh, 21 years ago, my mother's mother, who was really at the core of our family, the center, the, the one person who really took control and ran the family, um, passed away from pancreatic cancer. So it, it's, it's something that we've dealt with on a very serious level. Even today, we're down here in Ocean City, Maryland. It's someone that we used to come as a family, all 20 or 30 of us, as we've multiplied over the years. So it's, it's something that's very near and dear to our hearts. So I, I especially wanted to try to help the cause and raise awareness. Another thing when I spoke to Kathy that, that really came out of the conversation and that I'm, a, I'm a, a, a gigantic fan of is the sense of community. Um, what they've done, what you've all done with Griff's Run and Gun for a Cure is really inspirational. Four or five years ago when I left home, it was a very big decision for me. I had a great situation. I was around my family, around my friends. I had a, a great job, my coworkers, all the students. You know, it was just a very good situation. I felt a need to, to pursue something for my, my own personal happiness, which has led me to where I am today. But still, one of the goals that I had when I left was to remain in the community as much as I can. Even though I live four or five hours away, I wanted to try to implement myself into the to the community as much as I can, and, and this is a great opportunity not only to help the Griffiths, who are a local family, but also to raise awareness for pancreatic cancer as a whole. Another thing that, that rings true with, with me in this whole situation going on with Greg is the idea of fighting and battling. As you all know, I am a fighter. It, it's what I do. It's what I am. Over the years, I, I was a wrestler, and in a sense, that's, that's the, similar to what I'm doing now. But the whole idea that I've had ingrained in my body since I was eight years old is the idea of fighting and battling and not accepting defeat. And even if you do get defeated, to get up and keep on going. A lot of people ask me, you know, now that I'm, I'm fighting in the UFC, they ask me if I'm, if I'm nervous. If when I go out in the arena with all the fans or, or being on TV, if, if, I, if I get nervous and how overwhelming that must be. And the one thing that I say is that I'm actually at a peace, I'm at calm, because I know that everything I've done up to that point is all I could have done. I've done all the preparation, I've done all the training, I've put in all the sacrifice, that at the at go time, I know that there's nothing else I could have humanly done to be able to prepare myself better. And that's exactly what the Griffiths are doing. Instead of laying down and, and taking this defeat, they're putting on uh, events such as Griff's Run and Gun for a Cure, they're raising money, they're raising awareness, and not only for themselves, but for pancreatic cancer as a whole, and, and the money being raised going back towards pancreatic cancer research. And the one small thing that, that I, we are doing is, is creating the, the Spaniard Nation Pancreatic Cancer um, Edition t-shirt. So please get one, share your support, all the proceeds go back towards pancreatic cancer research. One of the things, over the years, as I said, I've been a wrestling assistant wrestler since I was eight years old. And from the time I was eight until the time I'm 30, um, I've won and lost many battles. And probably, I've probably lost more battles than I've won, to be honest. I've had my heart broken more than, than I've, I've celebrated triumph. But the one thing that remains is the fighter spirit, and that's to get up and move on to the next challenge. Uh, and, and even though I'm not around Greg, um, I, I can see through, through his family, through his wife especially, that that's exactly what he's doing. And I'll leave you with a quote that I've lived by, and uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm, I'm kind of coincidentally wearing the shirt right now. Um, it says, 
from Rocky. In the Warriors Code, there's no surrender. Though his body says stop, his spirit cries never. And tonight, Greg, you are the warrior, and we are all the fans in the stand. And I wish you uh, the best of luck. Your battle is obviously a lot more serious than my battle, but you have my thoughts and prayers. Best of luck, and I'll see you guys soon.